following is a weather warning from the Sporting Dog Adventures Weather Service. This episode contains a vortex capable of pulling in ducks from miles away. Expect large groups of birds, sometimes raining from the sky, during this duck storm. Please keep dog and hunters alike in blinds and watch for threatening skies. There is a 100% chance of vortex sighting, causing heavy flights and at times, duck sized hail. Now back to your regularly scheduled program, Sporting Dog Adventures. Hey, pretty mama, go and grab the scatter gun. Rommel's looking like he's got one more good run. His hips are a little shaky, but his heart's still true. Oh, how that dog loves hunting with me and you. Sporting dog adventures, run, boy, run. Everything you need is hair under the sun. Everything you need is hair under the sun. Sporting Dog Adventures is brought to you by Cabela's, Heavy Shot, Hadel's Game Calls, Conquest Sense Sticks, Hi Viz, Liberty Safe. Headwater Seat Covers, Mr. Lid, Mobile Strong, Paw Print Genetics, The Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks and Tourism, Vanishing Paradise, Pheasants Forever, and Soggy Acres Retrievers. This week on Sporting Dog Adventures, we're back out in Saskatchewan hunting with the Mobile Strong crew. On previous hunts, we had good success with ducks and geese, but now is the time to deploy our new Vortex. But first, some assembly was required before the ensuing duck storm. That's a secret weapon. Look out ducks, here we come. We're getting set up in a field right now. We had plan A, we were going to a spot. We saw a lot of birds that were piling onto this area going to water. So while they're resting, we're getting set back up, hoping that we can get them up, in, and right to us. We are putting up our Cabela's Vortex, which you put two spinning wing decoys on there and it spins in circles. So it's the first time using it. Should work, we're excited, but we gotta get set up because it's 4.30. We are hunting with Mike LaRue's dog, Castle, and while we were setting up, we already had birds working the area. Dude, they're coming to that vortex. You're good, you're good, straight out front. Nice shooting, boys. Good, hold it. Drop. Come on. Good boy. You're gonna be right in our face. Take him. Finish him off, Mike. Thanks. <laughs> Catch it up. Hunt it up. The number of kills continued to pile up, and it made the retrieves tough for our young dog, Castle. We waited for a lull in the action, and then took our young dog out to clean the field. Hold. Drop. Take them.
I shouldn't. As a sunset, we hit the realization that our new weapon was going to yield us a lot of birds. We we're also quite excited to use it in the field on our hunts to come. Coming up on Sporting Dog Adventures, we head back out to the field. Now some people will bring coffee and donuts for a morning hunt. We are going to bust out the vortex. This segment of Sporting Dog Adventures is brought to you by Conquest Sense Sticks and these fine sponsors. Picking a puppy for your future hunting partner for years to come is a huge investment. That's why genetic screening is so important. With genetic screening, you can have your puppy checked to see if they are at risk to develop debilitating illnesses as they get older. Litters whose parents have been screened for inherited diseases and return clear results are typically the best choice. If either parent is a carrier or affected for a disease, make sure to test the puppies to understand if they could carry or be affected with that disease. Good breeders and kennels will provide proof of genetic testing results, such as a canine genetic health certificate from Paw Print Genetics. Online databases, such as Paw Print Pedigrees, allows you to search for breeders, kennels, and dogs that have been tested, and to view the dog's reports to make decisions about breeding or buying a puppy. Making breeding choices and selecting a puppy isn't guesswork and gambling when it comes to their health. That's why genetic testing is so important. It's simple and cost effective and will ensure your puppy's health for the years to come. That's this week's canine tip. Now back to the hunt. The next morning, right away, we could see with our terrain, we had a large hill in front of us, a pond behind us. We knew it was a perfect setup to put out our vortex. We wanted to get the ducks' attention as they were circling the area. We had a number of birds circle in the area, but it took a while until we had some commit and come into the spread. Take a Had a couple of birds working right on top of us, like really tight. We're gonna try to change our setup a little bit here. Brad Heidel made the call to relocate the vortex. So we took it apart and we redeployed it on a small rise so the birds had a better view. Our original spot was just too far down in the hole for the birds to see with the sun coming up at their back. So we made the necessary call to readjust our setup. Take them. No, that one went. That one went down. They went for the one, the long one. Getting the vortex out and into the open paid off. We started to see a lot more birds that were coming in and working perfectly. Ooh, top, 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 ready, working in. Here we go. Shoot him. Nice catch. <laughs> Look at the feathers. Isn't that cool? Take them.
As the morning wore on, we began to lose birds to a nearby pond. It was now time to pull out and get prepared for our afternoon hunt. Coming up on Sporting Dog Adventures, we head out to a freshly cut wheat field where there's more ducks that are sucked into our vortex. I got my first dog in 1998. Her name was Lily Bell. She was a chocolate Labrador retriever. She was a great dog. She taught me a lot in the field. She ran me in the field a lot of times. Fate took a few turns for me. I had a career in law enforcement. I had a squat accident and I had to retire. Lily and I built a kennel. And now, my kennel was Soggy Acres Retrievers. <laughs> I own 25 hard charging hunting dogs. It's a joy to put puppies in people's homes. I breed about 12 litters a year of all three colors. There's nothing like giving someone that's gonna be a champion on their couch, riding the truck next to them, or out in the field. You just never know where a dog is gonna take you. You can check out my website, soggyacres.com. Look at what we have to offer, look at our pedigrees and our high-end dogs that we're putting out. This segment of Sporting Dog Adventures is brought to you by these fine sponsors. And now it's time for Ladies' Corner. Welcome to this week's Ladies' Corner. For this week, we're going to talk about proper shooting stance and follow through as our high vis shooting tip. Kate, you're new to the sport. You didn't do a lot of shooting, especially with the shotgun, prior to being welcomed into our family. So you've been learning as you go along. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not too much. I first picked up a shotgun in my late 20s. What we're going to talk about first is stance. Your proper stance or the base of how you shoot is really important. You want to have your feet about 45 degrees apart with the gun centered. And that gives you a good solid base so that you can swivel and turn as you shoot. As far as feet, you explained that, but what about my back? Do I lean forward? Should I try to stay upright? What's proper for back position? Well, you're going to have your feet in a position like this. You're going to have your gun here, and you're going to be slightly forward. So, so I guess lean into you're going to lean into the shot. All right, so just lean slightly into it where my lead foot is. Correct, and that gets us into the second part that we're going to talk about, which is follow through. What we want you to do is, even after you pull the trigger, continue to follow. So you're going to take a proper lead of I would say today let's go about a foot in front of the play okay, target. Behind, okay. And then when you pull the trigger, just keep following. Pull. Hey, nice shot. Thank you. So the two things we want to take away from today is proper stance, getting yourself with a good base for shooting, and then following through on your target. All right. I just need a little more practice at it, I think. But bring on the birds. I'm excited for this fall. That's this week's Ladies' Corner. Now back to the hunt. Hey, welcome back to Sporting Dog Adventures. We're out here, we're on a weed field. There's a little bit standing here, you can see it, it's beautiful. If you look on the ground, there's some spilled wheat from when they harvested, but there's also a lot of green shoots coming up. There's two ponds that we got. We're kind of running traffic between the two of them, right between in the middle of ducks. We're figuring they're eating here. We're getting set up to go. Take them. Take them. Get that one, Brad. Grab it. Hunting in Saskatchewan was unique from other hunts I've been on. There was an abundance of farm fields and a lot of water. We didn't quite hit the migration right. We were actually early, so we were hunting all local birds, which made scouting really important because we had to establish their patterns and figure out where they were going to feed. Shoot them. Shoot them. There, I got that one. The uh, vortex is sucking them in. The nice part is you can set them up high, and we've got birds on a pond roosted right over a hill. So whenever they pop up with the sun glinting off those, it's catching their eye and it's bringing them in. And so far there's been very, very few birds up, but 
but a great majority of the ones that dump, about 70% of the ducks have come over here. So if we hit 70% all day, we're golden. We got a good number there. What did we get, four or five? How effective is the Vortex? Well, it even pulled in birds while our dogs were out Thank working them. in the field. And now it's time for this week's Conservation Corner, presented by Vanishing Paradise. Reconnecting the Mississippi River with its surrounding wetlands can help build land all around the Delta. Land that's being lost at an alarming rate of a football field every hour. We need to mimic nature and strategically put sediment from the river back into the wetlands. Right now, a few key areas along the coast are doing just that, using sediment to build land. Take, for instance, the Wax Lake Outlet in the Atchafalaya Basin. Sediment flowed out of the canal and began depositing rapidly at the mouth of the canal. And sure enough, a new delta with new, rich, vibrant wetlands formed. And the hunting and fishing down there are top notch. We can use the same concept to rebuild the Mississippi River Delta. Learn more about how we can reconnect the river with its wetlands and rebuild the delta's marshes, wetlands, cypress forests, and barrier islands to save this vanishing paradise. Find out how you can help at vanishingparadise.org. Coming up on Sporting Dog Adventures, we wrap up our high-flying Saskatchewan adventure. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for your chance to win a puppy from Soggy Acres Retrievers and other great prizes from our sponsors. Sporting Dog Adventures is brought to you by Cabela's, Heavy Shot, Hadel's Game Calls, Conquest Scent Sticks, hi -Viz. Liberty Safe, Headwater Seat Covers, Mr. Lid, Mobile Strong, Paw Print Genetics, the Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism, Vanishing Paradise, Pheasants Forever, and Soggy Acres Retrievers. This product review is brought to you by the Outdoor Hub. This year, right before we started filming hunts, we were pleased to be sponsored by Cabela's. They asked us to represent them in their Northern Flight Waterfall line. They sent us a lot of great gear, decoys, decoy bags, blinds, blind bags. The most unique thing that we did receive was called the Vortex. This product almost looked like a merry-go-round for spinning wing decoys. We took it up to Saskatchewan. Nobody there had ever hunted with something like the Vortex. We put it out and we were in the eye of the storm and it was a duck storm. We were bringing birds down from mere specks in the sky that would slam right down into the Vortex and put them right in range. We had birds while we were getting set up putting our decoys out and had the vortex spinning that sat there right outside of our shooting range and circled. They actually waited for us to get into our blinds and then they worked right in because they're so mesmerized by the vortex. If you want a product that is truly unique and something that the birds have not seen a lot of, try the vortex from Cabela's. This is a great product and really fun to hunt over. Hey, we took a quick break Sporting Dog Adventures fan to give you the Micah puppy count. These guys are now three weeks old. They're really cute. And Micah had a total of, drum roll, 10 puppies, five girls and five boys. They are all doing wonderful. Micah's a great mom. It was a really cool litter. I hope you guys enjoyed being part of it. We went all the way from having her blood tested right before she was bred to when she was pregnant to now revealing that we have 10 puppies. We're gonna pick five winners from our people that sent in the guesses and guessed that Mike would have 10 puppies. Thank you for participating. Now back to the hunt. Wanna take them? Take them. Take them. Take 
Hey, look at that. Look at the dogs. Nice job, dogs. My opinion on the Vortex, it is a must have for any waterfowl hunter. It was amazing how it would turn birds towards us and then suck them right in. Our hunt in Saskatchewan was phenomenal. We had a great crew in the field and unrivaled action. This was my best waterfowl hunting experience and I look forward to returning soon. Put down about 24 mallards. It was really cool. You can still hear them quacking over the hill. Uh, we're right off the ponds that they sit in. We did this hunt, we were basically running traffic. We knew where the birds were roosted. We had no idea where they were eating at. We came in, we found that there's feed in the fields, so we set up close, worked out really great. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's show. Stay tuned for next week's High Flying Adventures. Next week on Sporting Dog Adventures, we wrap up season four. We'll show you our favorite hunts, Kate's official induction into my family, and some of our funniest moments. <laughs> Close captioning provided by Hadel's Game Calls. Are you looking for a puppy? Chocolate black or yellow? Contact Soggy Acres Retrievers at SoggyAcres.com. Everything you need is here under the sun.